Okay, hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm starting another series, or the uh, the sister series of Building for Dummies, which is Circuits for Dummies. Um, I've been in the circuits a little bit more as of the last little bit, and I would like to share my knowledge with you all. So first, we're going to start with a VIP system. Very simple, very well documented on YouTube, but I think I can add to it and help explain some of the logic and how to just not copy it, but understand it for yourself. So first of all, before anything, we have this little barrier here. I cannot get through it. I can't sit in my chair. I want to eat my granola bar. Here's my granola bar up on the screen in case anybody's wondering. Um, I can't get in the thing and I want to go there and eat my breakfast. So what am I going to do? Um, first, before anything, we got to set up a role system that when you get the role or the player has the role, it means that it's disabled for them and they can get in there. This would work for any VIP system if you make a little room then you make it so there's a little barrier around it and nobody can get past the barrier unless they have a certain role. Um, I'm gonna explain how to do that and I'm gonna take you over to my corner cam real fast. So let's go. Okay, so we're going to be using the uh, button and the player add role chip for this one. It's a pretty simple system and we're going to need a role chip to define the role and what it does. So first let's start off with a role because I figure for anything we probably wanna use that. So here's the roll chip. Um, you can find it in your basic circuits or just type in roll chip, however you want to find that. Get the configure tool out. It's going to be top right on your tools. Click on it. And then you are going to get this little menu popping up. You can see that okay. And if you want to edit what the roll can do, aside from just walking into the barrier, make it be able to fly, you press edit roll and you'll get this little funny little menu and you can just kind of choose what they can do. Um, but besides that, we're just going to name this VIP. So we can more Im easily implement it into our circuits. So now the role is called VIP, you can see it right here. And we're gonna throw that away because we don't really need it right now. What we do need though is a button, which is gonna be the action that uses the chip we're gonna need. So first, let's nab this button. I'll throw it over here. And then we're gonna need a player add role chip. So basically what this does is by triggering this action right here, it will allow you to add a role to the player that triggered the action. So how we're gonna define this is get your connect tool out it's right next to the configure and select tools. It's gonna be pressed, it's gonna go to the action. So when I press this button, it's going to trigger this action. And the target can be the person that pressed the button. Doesn't really matter. Um, I just like this because it's more easier to follow, but it doesn't really matter because the person that pressed it is gonna be the one that gets uh, the role anyway. So we already set up our VIP role. So now we're going to go to the value, click on the value and type in VIP. That'll define what role we want to give the person that pressed the button. I have now pressed the button and I now have the VIP role for myself. You can set up a oh, controller drift. <laughs> you can set up a different system with a trigger zone. It's all the exact same thing. All you need is an action. So pressing this button, it triggers this action just needs to come to here. So whatever you want to do, it can be an interaction zone, a trigger zone, anything like that. As long as it has an action, it can flow into this one and then add the role. Um, we don't have to do anything else. You, once you press the button, you keep the role forever until you come back into the room and then you can get press the button again. But um, what we need to do is go back to the invisible collision over there and we'll show you how to disable it for the VIP role. So let's go. Okay, we are back over here now. Um, Again, circuits only matter, it's all the way over there. All we need to do is take the maker pin. You'll go to your configure tool right next to the connect tool and the transform tool, and we will click on the trigger zone. So what we're looking for here is the only setting that isn't checked off, which is see role filter enabled. We click that, it will filter between roles, so allow certain roles to be able to get into it and certain roles to not be able to get into it. So we're gonna say disabled for, because we want it to be disabled, we won't want it to work for VIP role. So that means if you have the button pressed, if you press the button and you have the role, or if you've done whatever you need to get to the role, that means that now this trigger is disabled. Now I can sit in my chair and eat my granola bar. Okay, I hope I explained that well enough. Um, it's a pretty simple tutorial and pretty simple circuit logic. I was trying to make it nice and concise for anybody that is trying to watch the video. I'm not gonna do a whole outro and everything. I'm gonna keep the video nice and small for anybody that is coming here. Just watch the little thing and be done. But I have been Caddy Wumpus, and I hope you enjoyed that little tutorial on how to make a simple VIP system. Bye bye.